Landscape photography is a journey. My journey has been interesting to say the least. It started about four years ago when all I would photograph was burning red skies. The more color in the sky, the better my photo was. I didn't know anything about composition or light for that matter. I would just look for the most colorful sunset because I knew that that would play well on social media. Now I'm focused more on subtle light, the type of light that's soft. It could be direct or kind of flat light, but it's directional and it illuminates different parts of my scene. Understanding how this light interacts with your scene can change the way that you photograph. It allows you to appreciate the smaller things in a landscape and really come away with some more unique imagery. Well guys, spring has sprung finally. Green on the trees, feeling alive. I felt like that brown would just go on forever. <laughs> Personally, I got tired of it. But I'm glad to say that that has changed completely. We have spring and big part of what kind of drew me out here today, um, rose bushes. So there are a lot of them in this area. Last night, went out with the family, did some exploring with them, um, came across this kind of grove of trees in an area really local to us and found a lot of rose bushes that were kind of just starting to flower. So really excited to kind of jump back out here tonight and see if I can't get a photograph of them. So that's what I've done, uh, kind of ran out to the spot. Uh, I spent about an hour probably. Um, trampling through the trees back here looking for some rose bushes that had some flowers in the right spot with some maybe uniform type trees so came across absolutely nothing in there uh, overgrown kind of really difficult to pick apart compositions so um, after about giving up almost <laughs> I just went back onto the path and started walking a bit further down and came across this little scene right here and um, it's really really caught my eye um, earlier the light was just just hitting just these rose bushes and just these three trees kind of right here. And so I managed to get my stuff out and get a shot of that. So that's the photo I'm gonna show you kind of right now. I'm gonna walk through with you kind of the steps I took to, to kind of take this photo. And then I'll throw up my screen for you to check out. Okay, so we have, basically this is the composition right here. Uh, where are we here? So these are the roses that I'm talking about right there. And then we have one, two, three trees in frame. And then these are kind of the background. Earlier, the light was hitting just this tree and a little bit of these roses in here. The light was moving fast, so I took the photos and now it's kind of in shade. So um, things change pretty quickly around here. So um, this is the settings for the shot. Let me flip you around here. That is the photo. Um, a couple of trees in the foreground and then the let me throw the level off of here and then the different flowers in the kind of the mid ground so that's essentially what we have right here this is what it looks like and settings here we have i'm at a 20th of a second f6.7 iso 200. the reason i had to move my iso up is because my shutter speed was just too slow and these little you can see the movement on those things. My shutter speed was right around a 15th of a second, which is way too slow. And um, things were starting to blur out. Um, sorry, I lied. The other shot was at around a sixth of a second. So I managed to get it down to a 20th of a second, which froze motion on these things and kind of allowed me to get the best of both worlds. That's the photo, generally. Um, F6.7, it allows me to get knocked up the field to get that whole kind of rose bush and trees in the front in focus. And then the drop off is enough so that those back trees were a little bit blurred. Kind of what I was looking for in this. I didn't want focus to be drawn to the back. More so it was about the interplay of the roses within those trees. So I'm gonna throw that up on the screen right now. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. Here it is. Let me know what you think.
Well, I thought I'd be lucky to come away with one shot today. I'll show you guys the sky here. So, there's some beautiful high altitude clouds rolling in. I didn't foresee that, it wasn't in the forecast. So, and sunsets in a boat. 20 minutes so I am going just as fast as these little legs are gonna take me to an open area which in this kind of area is not close so I'm gonna cross my fingers I'm gonna make it to an open area with a tree that I've shot lots before but I've never seen it in spring so that's where we're going hopefully we get there in time because this looks spectacular there is clouds that can light up all around me so we're gonna see if we can come away with something Unfortunately, it's rather, I don't know, I'm not feeling it, so I'm not sure I'm going to get a shot from here. Um, it's sad if you can see, I think the sunset's going to be unreal and I might just enjoy this one just up in here. Let me talk you through a little bit about what's going on with this and my trouble with it. So, it's the main tree. Um, you may have seen it in other kind of renditions before. There, it's just nothing for me to place in the foreground. Um, just a bunch of dead grass and very, very, very consistent greens. Um, ideally, you gotta shoot these clouds right here wide uh, to include them so that means you need something in the foreground to bring the viewer in. There is some different kind of play I could do with the different colors, um, the, you know, the kind of brown grass and greens. Um, there's a nice line that actually kind of cuts in half but my other issue is this bush throws everything off balance and these trees back here don't work out either so Nothing really kind of works the way I want it to. It might be a nice photo, but just not speaking to me tonight, so I will live to fight another day. That said, I'm going to time lapse this, I think, and I'll finish with that. So, you've seen one photo. Hope you enjoyed that one. And just know landscape photography is not all about getting a photo, but getting in nature and experiencing moments like this. So, it's really peaceful, birds are singing, the sun's about to set, moon overhead, spring leaves, it doesn't really get any better, so I'm gonna leave it with this time lapse. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Cheers, thanks so much for watching.